have to walk a pretty long way to get to the docks. Away from the castle on the mountain, winding down the rich road, past the deep green walled off gardens, then landing in the concrete front yards, skirting the McDonald's parking lot, past the leisure centre that looks abandoned but is full of people swimming in rows, wearing goggles and breathing under their arms, beelining through Tiger's Bay, never seen a tiger there yet, skipping across the rough interchanges where the people with needles in their pockets stood, not looking at her, past the supersized superstores and petrol stations, one used to be the cigarette factory Granny got rich working in, under the railroad bridge, past the bars where the dockers used to wait, round the roundabout, down the long road with the Port of Belfast crane towering at the end, and the shipping containers and the warnings of rabies. Under the chain, not very secret, and over to the flat water slapping docks, rimmed by ships. Things that could get rabies. That's what Ella wanted to see. Granny said, Everything turns up in Sailor Town eventually. Everything that arrives in Belfast comes here first. She'd been a girl and a woman in Sailor Town. Granny had all the stories, all the free cigarettes a factory girl could carry. Crates of pineapples lugged in on Stevedore's shoulders, a parade of elephants trailing off the ship on the way to the circus. Mum said, You can't go there without Granny around. It's dangerous, Ella. Seeing sharks. That's what Ella came to Sailor Town for. Sneakers slippery on the dockside, hair ricocheting around her skull, Ella saw plenty. But never sharks. No way. The fairies. The sea ducks who bobbled and crested the tiny waves, smirking at each other. Rubbish in the water, new collections nestled in the corner of the deep dock every day. The sailors smoking on deck, who smiled and shouted to her. Maybe started a game of catch, with whatever they had handy that a sailor and a little girl could both throw. Tennis balls. Starfish. Tinned beans. Teddy bears. Sometimes, the sailors weren't allowed on land. On those days, she was the only animal they saw. And sometimes, sailors were the only ones she saw. Never sharks. No way. But the ducks and the sailors must have been enough, because she did keep coming. Most days, really. Even though she wasn't supposed to. 